what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel for one more video uh today we are going to talk about bowls but before i talk i want to let you know that english is my third language i learned english when i was already old i speak very slow so feel free to speed up the video or whatever and let's go i wanted to make this video for a long time because i feel responsible for many players that start playing bowls and i keep receiving messages every day in the discord or in the comments on youtube that players that say things like this oh dude i love your videos i love how you play bowls i start playing bowls because of you but i had to quit because it's too weak i feel that's too weak it's too complicated it's too hard to play that's what happened players start playing bowls and then they change it to a few months later to melees or mages because the truth is that bowls are trash bowls are really weak and i feel sad i feel sad uh because this the weapon that i love i don't want bowls getting strong i want to bowls to be fair i want to be in a fair game when i play bowls and for the last three years i have been playing bowls uh badden and war bow specific it was fun to challenging myself you know i uh, try to compete I always knew it, I always felt it, that bows was not stronger than the other weapons. But I always like it to, to challenge myself, you know, try to beat other meta weapons and things like that. But it is not fun anymore. It is not fun anymore. I go to the mists or open world and man, it's the difference is huge. When I play swords, when I play daggers, frost, cursed, I have those classes, those weapons level up. And when I play them, the difference is insane. I feel the power, man, like how strong those weapons are. And when I go back to the bows, man, it's huge, the difference. Um, but let's leave this talk for the end of the video. Here, gonna bring some... Uh, facts why bowls are so weak and why you should not play bowls in 2023 and maybe also 2024 and i cannot talk about the future i don't know what sbi is planning for the future i only can talk about the present and from the past so let's go and bring you some facts well um one thing that is funny is that mace and bows are the only weapons that had only four spells on the w we only have four options of spells all the other weapons they have five or six options some of them the new weapons i think they have seven options on the q's and the w's so some of the spells here on the mace they are really good this the first one is good the second one is amazing the third one is okay the fourth one also works so all these spells here they are usable but when we go to the bows we only have four options but only two are good enough to use ray of light it's okay it's okay jump frost jump it's a mobility spell but it is the worst mobility spell in every weapon in the game we're gonna talk about the spells later speed shots why this exists for the last four or five years and explosive arrows is another trash spell only people only using zvz's and large fight scales that's it we have only two you know spells that they're useful on a w but if you go to the shape shifter weapons they have counting with this and the also when they go to the animal form i think it's seven seven spells we have access one two three four five five options two insane good mobilities one of them give you uh, a lot of uh, damage bonus you have this one here it's really good for pve also can be used in pvp the bleeding bro this bleeding is amazing pvp we have cursed we have really good spells over here many options <laughs> daggers oh my gosh all the spells here are really good you have about four mobility spells damage 
You have a uh, bleeding that uh, it's really good against the uh, healers. All the spells here are really good. You have dash. You have a uh, <sighs> this one is a damage, but also can be counted as as a mobility. Bro, this one. Well, what can we say about about this one? The shadow edge. Oh my gosh, is insane strong. 22 meters mobility, insane. Double blades. You have many different good good options here. Damage options. A mobility with a five, six, seven is stone. If you get stone by this you're gonna be locked in the same place for about like four or five seconds we have damage we have a, a few other mobilities options we have swords with six skills options you have purge you have stun you have reflect with aoe damage you have a sprint that make you unpurgeable you have damage with mobility fires so you have amazing spells here you have insane mobility that's really strong you have the firewall, amazing spell. You have the fire that push your enemies back. You have the ring of fire that you make those uh, target fires follow your enemy. Bro, like many good options. We have frost where you have damage you slow. Really good slow for gankers. You have the, the blink mobility. Many good options. The spears, you have seven options. You have a stone, you have a... A chain that you can bring back your enemy to you you have a purge you have a mobility spell that's going to get buffed it's going to get really good you have a damage for pve and pvp so all the other weapons they have one or two more options on the w and they're really good they are really good options but bows and mace are the only weapons that have only four options but mace they have spells that are very useful. Bows, we only have two spells that we can use daily. One for damage and the other one for mobility. And they both are not the best. I wish you could have more options. Bows are really trash for end game PV. I wish we could have uh, something that is good for PVE that would bring bows to the end game PVE like uh, Avalonian dungeons or uh, hardcore expeditions because we don't have that spell the speedy shot is so trash it doesn't make any sense these spells being here for the last three years and no one does nothing about it or they should rework this and make this useful or they sh they maybe should uh, uh, rework in a way that we could use as a Q spell option and then they could give us like two or one more choice of spell here on the W I wish they could give us more options I'm not asking to be OP I'm asking for options because all the other weapons they can disengage the fight and change spells that will change the whole fight but both we don't we have ray of light and we have frost jump and if you use ray of light you are signing up your death sentence because you don't have any mobility at all you have a little bit more of damage but you don't have any mobility you are just piece of cake that somebody else will eat that's it this is going to be a long video man if you don't want to be here if you if you think that i'm talking bullshit just leave the video please this is for my community that love balls and watch my content and are tired of dying and dying and dying every single time because balls are trash now let's talk about the gear of the melees mo the most used ones so we have here the coolest robe, 45 seconds cooldown, really strong gear. You can run away, use this to reset in the fight, really strong. Especially now, uh, the shape shift weapons. This is really strong. This is the it is this guardian armor here is a joke. Well, I don't know what's going on with uh, SBI balance, combat balance, but this is a joke. Every every chest piece in Albion Online only give you two advantage they give you two good things and give you one bad thing you get a lot defensive you remove 60 percent of your enemy's damage you slow your enemy for 15 percent you reveal invis invisible invisibility why the cooldown is only 30 seconds 
So you basically have about six good thing. Oh, and you now you cannot get purged. So you basically have seven benefit, about seven benefits using this armor. And what is the weak spot? Oh, you only do less 15% damage when uh, you have your spell activate. So like, what the heck is this? And this is really strong for melees, man. This is one of the most uh, used armors and mists. It's f man to play against this is really nuts when you play balls because they can review envies in 30 seconds. They slow you, they remove your damage, they are not purgeable anymore. <sighs> Whatever, man. Helium jacket really strong, really strong. 40 seconds cooldown. Really strong with small scale on the mist, also still strong. Now this is disgusting also. Um, I don't know why this is 30 seconds cooldown. All the melees are using this and abusing this, especially double blades. They can stun you with the W and then they stun you and they melt you with this jacket. That this deals insane amount of damage in 30 seconds cooldown, really? What's SBI is going to make next patch? This unpurgeable to whatever. Miss Clown 45 seconds, you become immunity, but uh, you you become slow for 20 seconds and also this doesn't work with a bow of a bad right why this doesn't work with bow of bad and the most like if you get both 90 percent of the builds and the game we use assassin jacket you can you can go and search like every bow like 90 percent of the bows are gonna be used assassin jacket they did a few things here that is good and that's bad now they remove one second before was eight seconds and this one second is gonna make the whole difference they increase one meter that in the area that we can walk around and make uh, now we can see the circle but now and uh, they also uh, add a 0 0.2 seconds delay on your invisibility this is sucks man this is sucks so bad for bows if you play bows before this patch you already had to wait like half seconds before your last hit to pop your jacket because if you popped your jacket your arrow always take about 0 0.5 0 0.4 seconds to hit your en the enemy so if you pop your jackets while your, your arrow is traveling your jacket is not gonna work and I lost many fights because, because of this and before we already had to wait half seconds before you but now with this 0 0.2 delay now we we have to wait about one second after our last hit because this is going to happen look You see, it doesn't work. Man, this, this, if you play assassin jacket and bows, you probably went through this and you don't know why your invisible jacket didn't work. Now you need to wait about one second to make sure all the hits went through your enemy. People are gonna say, ah, oh, one second, what are you talking about? Just wait one second. Bro, one second makes the whole difference. Imagine you had to wait one second while you have uh, one fire and one melee beat your ass up and you need to count like one boom and press you know it makes the whole difference man in the fight and also they remove 10 seconds from the cooldown Yay. They removed 10 seconds from cooldown but they removed one second before it was 8 and now it's 7 why SBI? Why can you not just give us? Why can you not just buff something that was weak? You know, it's always this game. It give you with one hand and remove with the other. You know, like why you could not stay 8 seconds? No, because look, we removed 10 seconds from the jacket cooldown. And bro, like it's one second that makes a whole difference. Why can you not just buff all the other jackets that the melees are using? They are strong as fuck. 
and what do you tell me about guardian armor and stalker jacket oh you cannot keep the eight seconds because it's going to be too strong but how about this and how about guardian armor with seven benefits how about this jacket that does insane amount of damage that the melees are using everywhere why it could not stay 50 seconds and 8 seconds you always need to do this game i'm tired of it you know and people are gonna say oh but look it's jacket assassin jackets you become invisible it's hard oh invisibility is, is something that is the same insane hard to play against it lies if you have a problem against in players that become invisible you are a knob because you have helmet of valor 45 seconds spell that has a huge area that you can reveal invisibility you have this stupid stalker hood that is 15 seconds cooldown with an omelette and maybe a cooldowns passive and a chest you can use this every 12 seconds you know 12 seconds you can use about five or six times while i can only use one invisibility jacket you have guardian armor 30 seconds you can pop this twice while i can only pop one assassin jacket so how assassin jacket is too strong if every item you can use one two three four five times while i can use assassin jacket one now let's talk about the uh wild ball magic arrow speed i made a post on you uh, on the forum complaining about it i made a thousand of posts on the forum if you want to know i complain about bows all the time and this the speed of the arrow man this magic arrow is so slow if the player is about four five or six meters away they can easily dodge it and when they are over 10 meters away it's imp almost impossible to hit them it's so hard you need to guess every hit you need to guess you need to, you need to predict every hit so they just need to walk away look at this you see it's Bro, like I play, I have about 5,000 hours of gameplay with bow only. And when I say something, I know what I'm talking about. So, it's just insane, man. It's just insane. Why this, this arrow is so slow? Why cannot be fast? To help us a little bit. To give us a chance to compete. The other thing that I want to talk about it is about the, the squirrels and the mists. Bro, there are why there are thousands of squirrels that looks like the ground, same color in the game. Why there are hundreds of squirrels in the mist? Why you guys should make a birth control because these modern fathers are making babies like a hell. There are hundreds of them, and I make a post about this. I made a post about the squirrels. Why there are like one screen? three four five squirrels inside the bushes look with the same color of the ground if they only block the spells from bad baden warbow hero spears we already have a, a a really hard spell that we need to guess that we need to predict that we need to calculate it's not target we need to calculate where it goes the spells and where the enemy going so we can throw and hit the enemy and then it, we hit a stupid squirrel i made a post about the squirrels <laughs> do you know what someone that works on the nda told me i gonna tell you but first watch this video look i was fighting this ex and i am about to kill him look do you see the squirrel over here it looks like the same call of the ground and I was about to kill this this axe that was really juicy and that's a that's a rat behind me right here carving sword rat behind me so I hit the fucking squirrel don't tell me that in the heat of the fight how could you not see the squirrel was in front of you bro I'm focused on the axe and the rat behind me 
I call and I'm going to suppose like to see the fucking squirrel that looks like the ground. So and look, the X escaped because of that, and then the rat starts to chase me. Look at this one squirrel right here. The X escaped, and then I started to run away from the the rat, the carving sword. One squirrel that's dead. Another squirrel. Another squirrel. And look at this. The sword is getting stacks from the squirrels. Three squirrels. We just made a walkway around the tree that was three squirrels. And I'm running away. Another squirrel. Another squirrel over here. So he was getting speed. He was getting speed in stacks. Another squirrel from the squirrel. And because of that, he was able he was able to catch me. So do you see how bulls are weak, man? If I decide to play bow of baden or war bull in the mist, I uh, I am already in a huge advantage. Because there are like hundreds and thousands of squirrels in the mist with no reason. They only benefit the melees that get stacked from it. Like that givers, blood letters, uh, spears, swords. They only benefit the melees. The other ranges, they don't suffer too much. Because um, most of them, they are target spells. And... Most their spells goes through the squirrels, but no man, Baden, Warbow, Hero Spear. When we hit a, a squirrel, the spell stop right there, you know. And we already are in a huge advantage, an advantage because of this. And do you know what the NDI person told me? They told me that when I PvP in a mist, I should press my control and like pass my my mouse through the ground during the fight so i could uh, reveal where the squirrels are and this was a person that give tips about bal combat balance in the nda told me that that while i am fighting i should be with uh, like this oh i'm fighting a guy let me pass control and see if there's squirrels around Oh, no one's it's not revealing any squirrel, so yeah, we're fine, let's fight. They told me that, man. It sucks, bro. Really? Let's talk about mobility now. The biggest lie in Albion Online is when people complain about Bose mobility. They say, oh, my Bose has a huge mobility. Bulls had so much mobility, it is impossible to catch a bow. What if I tell you that bulls is one of the weapons that has less mobility in the game? Would you believe me? Yeah. Bulls are one of the weapons that has less mobility in the game. Let's compare to mobility spells to the, mobil the bow mobility and see. Which one is better? Frost, it's a 20 seconds cooldown. You can uh, just blink. You're gonna stun your enemy and you're gonna become Im uh, immune to damage for 0.2 seconds. It's 20 seconds, but remember, Frost, they can use uh, offhand. That will remove about 5 seconds of cooldowns over here. So, a uh, Frost with amulets and uh, offhand, they can down the cooldowns here to 13 seconds 14 seconds double blades they have a w that is uh 15 seconds only and this is insane this is insanely strong 15 seconds uh it lasts for four seconds so every 11 seconds he can just run after you and stun you and they have other mobilities like the the E. It's insane, man. It is insane. This stup this this weapon here. Uh, it's unbelievable that SBI let players farm billions of PvP fame, billions of uh, of silver on the mist, abusing of this mobility, and SBI did nothing for a whole year. Now they are trying to nerf a little bit, 
but it is too late. The damage is already done. Hammers, oh my gosh. This is another example of why SBI took about a year to do something about this. Two huge mobility spells, the E and the W, that's only 15 seconds, and then slow you for 50% for about eight seconds. This is insane almost impossible to escape from it bear pulse they have two mobility spells battle access they have offhand that can bring this to 15 seconds with omelets to 12 seconds they can catch you everywhere real like a lot of mobility they have mobility on a queue when they throw one two and they do a loop and they that counts as mobility too battle rush and they have the E, right? But uh, it's whatever. Battle Axe, they have a two axes that they throw that heal themselves. Whatever. Gloves, I don't need even to talk about it. Have They have about many different options. Mobility options, damage options, reflect options on the Qs and on the W. So Mace have one nice mobility spells. 15 seconds. Remember, they also can use a uh, offhand can be really OP because it is a really uh, good CC uh, spell. Towards that they have a lot of options that they can pick. They have one mobility spell spells 20 seconds that's not purgeable and also they get a lot of speed from the stacks. They can get stacks from the, the mobs they become really fast it's almost impossible to run away from a sword it's they really fast especially when they know how to play and now let's talk about frost shot 18 seconds but remember you cannot use that off the hand and the other thing it's a mobility that keeps you in combat so if you're trying to escape this is going to help you to uh, create the space between you and an enemy but will keep you in combat so remember that <laughs> Keeps you in combat. 18 seconds cooldown. One of the highest cooldown. The lowest cooldown is 15 seconds. The highest is 20. And Frost Shot is the only mobility that has a casting. It's the only mobility that has a casting and can get cancelled. So it is a working spell. Okay, uh, we jump 13 meters. We slow our enemy for 40%. But remember... If you are trying to escape, this is going to help you, but also it will keep you in combat. The cooldown is high and it's casting. It doesn't make sense this spell being casting. Why all the other weapons, they have three mobility choices. On the Qs, on the Ws, on the Es, the Ultimates are, um, has mobility from all the, the melees and also from some... Uh, uh, mages like they have mobility a lot many different options that they can choose and they may lead bro they have so much pressure they have so much durability they have so much damage they have CC and they have a huge mobility and no one has a cancelable mobility spell but Bose is the only one that has a casting spell why is this casting while all the other mobility spells are not you if you are in a fight and your mobility get cancelled you dead i lost i lost the amount of times that i got my my frost shot got cancelled and i died because it's the only mobility that i have It's the only thing that keeps my life in, in the open world i try to jump and get cancelled boom is how the time it happens man and don't tell me like oh you should you should pay more attention when you're going to use bro there are some play when you play high level players wait for you because the casting is so slow it's like uh, players know when you're going to jump and they use the spell in the right moment to cancel when you are in the middle of three four five players ganking you you never know who's gonna throw the spell. That's no timing for that. You just you you're gonna use your frost shot. You're probably going to get canceled. So you never know who's gonna use what. So I mean, don't tell me that bullshit. That I should like. Oh, you should choose the right moment to use your spell. This video is already too long, but I uh, wanna end up this saying this. Don't play both, man. Don't play both.
Bows are very weak. I only keep playing bows because I refuse to play shape ship weapons. I refuse to play death givers. I refuse to play double blades. I refuse to play great hammer. I refuse to play frost. I refuse to play those tox meta weapons. I like to go out to open world and beat people that are stronger than me. But, and for a long time that was fun, but it is not fun now. Bows stopped, man. Bows stopped. When I started playing 2019, bows were okay. But all the other weapons is starting to grow. It's starting to get buffed, remodeling and everything. And bows always stood in the same place. Now all the other weapons are right here and bows are right here. Do you want to do you know why is that true? Man, you can ask it to any other bow player. Players start playing bows and they see soon they see how bad it is, how hard it is, how weak it is compared to the other weapons, they give up bows and they go to the other weapons. Simple like that. You can clear see this in the game or if you like talk to other people if you pick up bows now and go to the mist you're going to get your ass kicked you can pick both bad on yeah and go and compete but you need to like be strong as fuck you need to uh, choose your matchups really be careful otherwise you're going to get killed most of the times i don't want bows op man i want both fair with more options I want to have more options here on the W's I wanna maybe have one more option here on the Q I want to be useful on the end game PvE when in the in a, in a high level PvE content I want to compete in PvP I want to have a choices like swords like spears like cursed like fire like frost I wanna see here over here you start a fight it's too hard to run away and choose like oh which one's going to be the best option to fight that guy and I choose a better option just like uh, every other weapon because I need to use frost shot 99% of the time otherwise I will die and frost shot is still the worst mobility spell because it is casting it is a slow casting it is cancelable and keep me combat. Give him a, give us another mobility spell. We work speed shot. Give us something that we can use in the end game. I don't know. Before I end the video, let's talk a, a bit about the bows. Regular bows, man. What the fuck was this nerf? What the heck was this nerf, man? This last nerf. Make speed is magic arrow faster. Rain of arrows why is this spell casting you know why is this spell casting <laughs> we have here in the frost tree look at this look how things does not make sense great frost we have the same spell that deals up basically the same amount of damage and this one is not casting you can just like throw the spell run and throw another wave of spell why long boats not like that you be amazing you throw your ring of arrows and you can run away we work this nobody uses this in open world only zvz's because it's trash no one to no it's very cancel man i play this game that i love a lot and i play bows for five thousand hours if you pick a long bow in a fight small scale fight open world or if you play this solo this spell is going to get cancelled all the time because you need to cast 1.5 seconds when you cast and you when you start to throwing your spell the enemy run to the side run away but no frost the great frost you can just throw really fast no casting you know whispering bow this weapon is dead people only use this in gank groups and it is not the best weapon for damage look at like a one hand cursed incredible amount of damage and we have whispering bow what's the point of using this because if i start uh, doesn't matter if i get 35 percent of uh range 
If I stop and I start hitting, I will gonna hit one, two, three, four times. My enemy is gonna run away. I gonna lose the space. I gonna lose my enemy. And I am supposed to chase my enemy with frost shot. And also the same thing. If the enemy is coming towards me and I use this one, two, three, four, five hits, the enemy is eating my butt. Oh, make a combination with speed shot. I don't know when the skills activate, remove the standing time so we can hit and walk like Wind Ranger in Dota 2. Nerf a little bit and make no 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 standing time when we activate this. We can hit and run same time. So we can use we can see this weapon in open world because now we cannot. I saw it today that they are reworking this. But look Look, bro, the, the waiting bow is dead for the last three, four years. Nobody used this weapon. Nobody used this. Why they are reworking only after three, four years? Why they took all this long, man? They gonna rework this now. But why took so long? Bow of Baden, man. Why is this spell reflectable? We have a 30 seconds cooldown spell. That's the cooldown is long. We're gonna use this in your our enemy and they pop reflect on the chest on the head and we take our own damage back It is already a spell shot. We need to guess where our enemy is going to hit our enemy It's very easy to miss this and when we miss we need to wait 30 seconds to use again and then when we hit our enemy they pop up reflect and we took we take our own damage back. It doesn't make any sense. Why cursed? Why fires? Why crossbow? Why many other weapons are not reflectable? And bow of badoness. Explain me why. When I get when I get situ through situations like this, it, only one or two or three, four point one players pops, pops reflect. And this happened to me. Look at this. Look, look at my HP. This is ours because of the cooldown. Ours because of the reflect. Look at this. They are not even hitting me. Look at this. They both, they both popped the reflect at the same time. I lost eighty percent of my HP. I mean, man, it's disgusting. Why cursed go not through this? Why fires? Why? crossbows go not through this and i bow of bad don't need to go through this i mean man like things doesn't make sense we have different you know uh judgments i see the same situation but bows i judge it different from the other weapons and not even mentioning how hard the gaming style bows is bows we need to play kiting we need to create a space between your enemies maintain the space and kite and that is so hard that's such a hard game play style but that's the only game play style that keep us alive when we play solo we cannot make a single mistake because if you make a, a single mistake we are done while other rangers or other melees they can make a lot of mistakes because they have very low cooldowns they have a lot of escape options they have a lot of durability and a lot of damage and a lot of pressure and they just can walk forward making mistakes and they still in a fight but both if you make one single mistake you are done that's what make balls so hard to play and that's why a lot of players give up playing balls because soon they realize that you cannot make mistakes and that you need to play way way more than other kind of weapons they give up it's very frustrating because many times in the fights we need to give up the fight when we are winning the fight we need to let our enemies go because we don't have a lot of chasing potential because soon as we use our spells to chase our enemies they're gonna make the turn and they're gonna engage in us again and we that's nothing that we can do because we are very vulnerable and that is so 
frustrating. Many times we need to let our enemies go. But other classes like I told you guys here, they have a lot of chase potential. They can kite, they can chase, they have all the low cooldowns, they have a lot of pressure. They just can go forward and forward and forward, make a lot of mistakes and nothing happened to them. And that is really annoying. I mean, man, I'm just telling this because it's not fun anymore. I am tired. And I'm pretty sure my community that plays bows and that enjoy bows are tired too. If you are a bow player that plays bows and you still compete, you kill other players, man, I clap my hands for you because you are a hero. But man, it's disgusting the way the bows is. I had to make this video. And if you're watching through here, then man, thank you so much. And yeah, I hope something can change after this video.